Hey everybody, soybean farmer. Action packed day. Got off work at 12, ran to Raleigh, took care of some personal business up there, and got in and out real quick, and then had time to go on an adventure. I'd made some phone calls and found out there's a salvage yard here in North Carolina, Green Salvage. Uh, June Bug Green is the band that started the place. And they actually had the entire assembly for what I need. There it sits. And it's the right part. <laughs> it's the right part. That's a celebration right there. Yeah, I've already run up there and uh, slid that shaft, slid that piece onto the shaft that it goes on. And it is the right part. I could not be more delighted. I got the right part the first time. And I think that had a lot to do with... Uh, that lady at uh, Green's Salvage knowing a whole lot about parts. Well, I thought I was just going to brush it off and get it clean, but I can't get down inside of these spots to really clean it, so I'm taking it apart. I can't hold this uh, thing apart enough. And I think I'm going to be able to get it back together without having to compress the springs because it just got loose right there. Yeah. These are those kind of nuts. I call them lock nuts. Yeah, I can get it back together. Okay, cool. That's great. Anyhow, I call them lock nuts because they got that little nylon piece in there that keeps them from vibrating off. But I just couldn't get the trash out of the spring without taking them off. And then the other thing, okay, see, there's still trash in there, is I couldn't get in between these to get all that out of there. Because uh, the belt that runs in this thing is very expensive. And I could just kind of see all this rust in here and trash messing up my belt I was doing it but I took that uh, flapper wheel that I bought um, that came in that multi-pack when I was buying cutoff wheels and lightly not aggressively but knocked all that rust off in here worked great now I want to try to polish the inside of these holes and take this sandpaper see if I can roll it up like that slip it in there do that. I don't want to get aggressive with it. I just want to get the rust out of it. Yep. Works. I can see the grease coming in. Cool. Alright. Grease fitting's good. I can keep using that one. Don't have to change it. Now, as I've got this all cleaned up, I'm satisfied with it. This is the spring pin. Uh, I grabbed it when we were successfully got it out of here. I've looked at it. It doesn't have any cut stress marks on it, so I'm going to reuse it. And in order to get it started, I need to recut the bevel on it. That was the beveled side originally, but it got beat up a little bit when we were driving it out. So, That should be enough. Alright, the way this works is a spring pin with a smaller spring pin on the inside of it. 
and this got beat up a little bit getting it out so I'm going to recut the bevel on this end Yep, that feels good. All right. Did that run in the hole? And then we'll just tap. find out I've marred that. No, that'll still go. But you can't put this one in there yet. This goes in last. That's what wedges it. I probably need a softer hammer to be beating on that with because it is starting to mar it. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Didn't have it started enough, that's why it went and got crooked on me. Yeah, that's pushing it right in. Just don't push it too far. So I don't want to beat on the combine, so when I get this lined up with the shaft, I'm hoping that I got enough clearance up there on the machine to put this C-clamp in there and do that. You can see it going in. I just gotta be careful not to push it in too far. Let's see. And there it is, right? A little bit more. And that's it, right there. That worked. Oh boy. Oh boy, excited. Alright, now if that works up at the combine to where I can get that clamp in there, that's going to be sweet. A minute ago, I uh, got everything all greased up real good and it's real slippery. And I lost my line but I refound it. I was able to put the vice grips on it and tap it once to drive it back. And by thumbnail mark, I'm in there now. So the secret is going to be, I'm going to have to tap that one time to get it to start through that shaft before I can put the C-clamp back on it. So, I think I got it now. Let's see if I'm still lined up. Yeah. All right, let's go back to this technique here. Maybe find that back hole now. it is. Feels like it is. Success. It's on there. And I can see it right there. Thank you, Jesus. Well, everybody, no to repair. Whew. Cold out here. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.